You're not ready for what's coming next month. America, it's time to face the facts. Walmart is quietly preparing for a crisis, and it's worse than they're letting on. Empty shelves, skyrocketing prices, and supply chain collapses. They're all in the pipeline, and Walmart knows it. Insiders are already talking about food shortages, critical product delays, and inflation levels we haven't seen in decades. But here's what they're not telling you. New government policies and international trade tensions are squeezing retailers, and that pain will trickle down to you. Are you ready for what happens when basic goods run out or double in price overnight? Today, we're exposing the truth about what Walmart and the government are hiding from regular shoppers like us. Stay tuned, because what you don't know could cost you more than just money. First, the rise in energy costs is something you should not ignore. Global oil prices have surged by 35% over the past year, and analysts predict this trend will continue. This increase affects not only what you pay at the gas pump, but also the cost of electricity, heating, and even the products you purchase at Walmart. Higher energy costs lead to increased transportation fees, which in turn raise the prices of goods on store shelves. For instance, reports from industry experts indicate that the cost of shipping a standard container across the Pacific has increased by 22% since the start of 2023. As energy prices rise, so will the prices of everything that relies on transportation, which is essentially all consumer goods. Moreover, this energy crisis will have an outsized impact during the colder months. As heating costs rise, consumers will face tough choices between paying utility bills and affording other essentials like food. According to recent data, heating costs are expected to rise by 10 to 15 percent during the winter of 2024, which could result in even less disposable income for families already struggling to keep up with inflation. This situation puts further pressure on households, forcing them to tighten their budgets and prioritize spending in ways that could mean less food on the table. Second, food insecurity is becoming an increasing concern across the U.S., with alarming trends emerging. A study from the USDA revealed that 13.5 million households experienced food insecurity in 2023, a number that is expected to grow in 2024 due to rising prices and potential shortages. As food prices continue to surge, up 11.4% from last year, more Americans are finding it difficult to afford basic groceries. The problem is compounded by the reduction in government assistance programs, which provided vital relief during the pandemic, but are now being scaled back. With fewer safety nets in place, families who rely on affordable food options from Walmart may find themselves struggling to make ends meet. Walmart is aware of this rising food insecurity and is ramping up efforts to stockpile non-perishable goods like canned foods, cereals, and pasta. However, these efforts may not be enough to counter the impacts of prolonged shortages and price increases. The reality is that without major interventions, the cost of groceries could rise another 8 to 10 percent by mid-2024, further limiting access to affordable food for millions of Americans. This troubling trend could push even more households into food insecurity, creating a national crisis that may take years to resolve. Third, we need to have a serious conversation about the increasing potential for civil unrest as economic pressures mount across the United States. Inflation is skyrocketing, unemployment remains persistently high, and food insecurity is becoming an alarming issue for millions. This isn't just speculation. Recent data shows a staggering 23% increase in protests and strikes in 2023, concentrated in cities hardest hit by rising costs and job losses. It's a clear warning. When people can't afford basic necessities like food, gas, and housing, the fabric of social stability starts to unravel. Let's put this into perspective. Over 38 million Americans are currently food insecure, and inflation is hitting 6.5%, comma, making everyday life more expensive by the day. The pressure is rising, and if inflation continues unchecked, or if shortages get worse, we could be looking at a sharp increase in civil unrest. We're not just talking about peaceful protests. We're talking about strikes, disruptions, and potentially violent unrest in communities that have reached a breaking point. This type of instability doesn't just affect daily life. It can lead to store closures, interrupted deliveries, and a scarcity of essential goods, 
even at major retailers like Walmart. If things get bad enough, your local stores might not have the products you rely on, regardless of how much you're willing to spend. The U.S. government knows this tension is building, but the steps taken so far haven't been enough to address the root problems. In fact, the Federal Reserve's attempts to curb inflation through higher interest rates are only adding fuel to the fire, making it harder for businesses to grow and increasing the likelihood of more job losses. If the unrest escalates, it will wreak havoc on an already fragile supply chain, leading to more delays, more shortages, and higher prices. You can't afford to wait for this situation to play out before preparing yourself. Now is the time to stock up on essentials, secure your finances, and get ready for what could be an incredibly chaotic period ahead. The fourth looming crisis that could hit hard is in our financial system, and the numbers here are nothing short of terrifying. The U.S. national debt has surged beyond $33 trillion, with interest payments alone now exceeding $1 trillion each year. Think about that. $1 trillion just to pay the interest. This level of debt is unsustainable, and experts are already warning of a possible financial collapse if the government can't manage it. Rising interest rates combined with sluggish economic growth could force the government into implementing drastic austerity measures or worse, lead to a debt default. And if that happens, it's not just Wall Street that will feel the shock. Your savings, your retirement, and your investments could all take a massive hit. This financial crisis won't stay confined to the headlines. A collapse in the value of the dollar could lead to skyrocketing prices on everything from groceries to gasoline. Picture this. The price of imports, which make up a huge percentage of the goods you buy at Walmart, could go through the roof. And that's just the beginning. In the worst-case scenario, you could see bank freezes, cash shortages at ATMs, or even runs on banks. If you think this sounds far-fetched, consider that several financial experts have already raised red flags, comparing the current situation to past crises that led to severe economic disruptions. This isn't a distant threat. It's happening right now, and the decisions you make today could make the difference between whether you weather the storm or get caught off guard. Diversify your assets, review your financial situation, and start preparing for the potential fallout. Number five, the hidden threat of economic shortages is more real and pressing than you might think. Walmart is already feeling the pressure, and the coming months could make things much worse. As we move into the fall, Experts are warning of significant disruptions to the supply chain that could lead to widespread shortages of essential goods. This isn't just a scare tactic. Millions of American households depend on Walmart for their groceries and everyday items, and these disruptions could leave shelves bare across the country. Recent reports show that Walmart is already taking precautionary measures, increasing its inventory of key items like canned foods, pasta, and rice by up to 20% compared to last year. But this is only a stopgap measure in what could be a much longer, more dangerous period of economic instability. Here's what you need to know. The problems causing these shortages are deep, complex, and getting worse. Global supply chains are under immense strain, made worse by a toxic mix of geopolitical tensions, natural disasters, and short-sighted economic policies. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed just how fragile these supply chains are, and the impacts are still being felt today. Shipping delays and material shortages have become the norm, but that's only the tip of the iceberg. Ongoing geopolitical conflicts, particularly in regions that are major producers of raw materials and goods, are disrupting trade routes and driving up shipping costs by over 30% in some cases. This isn't just a minor inconvenience. It's a direct threat to the ability of retailers like Walmart to keep essential products in stock. Even worse, the rising cost of raw materials is adding to the crisis. According to recent data, the cost of raw materials like steel, aluminum, and plastics has jumped by 15 to 20 percent in the past year. These increases are pushing up the cost of production for everything from electronics to household goods, and manufacturers are struggling to maintain the volume and affordability that consumers are used to. The result? Higher prices and fewer products on shelves. The average American household has already seen grocery prices increase by nearly 11 percent this year, and if these shortages persist, you can expect to pay even more for basic necessities. 
One of the biggest threats to the supply chain right now is a severe labor shortage, particularly in critical sectors like transportation. There are currently over 80,000 unfilled truck driver positions in the U.S., and the shortage is only growing. This labor crisis means that even when goods are available at ports, there aren't enough workers to transport them to warehouses and stores. Combine this with the ongoing port bottlenecks, where delays in unloading cargo have increased by nearly 40% this year alone, and you have a perfect storm for widespread shortages. Walmart, along with other retailers, is scrambling to navigate these issues, but the fact remains, there simply aren't enough workers to keep the supply chain moving efficiently. Walmart's decision to stockpile essential non-perishable goods, like canned foods and dry staples, isn't just about preparing for a bad month. It's a signal that the company is bracing for potentially severe long-term shortages. And let's not forget the looming threat of labor strikes at key U.S. ports. If port workers strike, and reports suggest that negotiations are already strained, the impact on the supply chain could be catastrophic. With 40% of U.S. imports passing through West Coast ports, any disruption could halt the flow of goods and lead to even more empty shelves. Walmart knows this, which is why they're focusing on stockpiling items that can withstand long storage times without spoilage. But even this strategy has its limits. If strikes happen, expect to see delays that will make it harder to find fresh produce, dairy, and other perishable goods. Number six, the impact of California's economic policies on food availability is a growing concern that could hit you harder than you realize. California isn't just another state. It's the agricultural powerhouse of the United States, supplying over a third of the country's vegetables and two thirds of its fruits and nuts. But that lifeline is under threat and the ripple effects will be felt at your local grocery store, including Walmart, where food prices could skyrocket as supply shrinks. What's happening in California is going to affect every American, and the stakes are rising fast. Let's talk numbers. California's agricultural industry generates over $50 billion annually, but its output is shrinking and fast. A 2023 study showed that California's farm acreage has decreased by nearly 10% in the last decade due to a combination of water scarcity, urban development, and environmental regulations. And with new laws allowing non-citizens to purchase homes with zero down payments, there's an even greater push to convert farmland into residential property. This is stripping away the land needed to produce the fruits and vegetables that feed the rest of the country. Every acre lost to development is an acre less growing tomatoes, lettuce, or almonds, crops that Walmart and other retailers depend on to stock their shelves. And it doesn't stop there. California's price-gouging laws, designed to protect consumers, are backfiring on farmers. In times of emergency, farmers are unable to raise prices to cover rising operational costs, which are surging due to labor shortages, increased water restrictions, and environmental regulations. California's minimum wage for farm workers is now one of the highest in the nation, with a current rate of $16 per hour, set to increase again soon. This is putting enormous pressure on small and medium-sized farms. As costs rise, many farmers are choosing to plant fewer crops or worse, leave the industry altogether. This directly translates into less food on the shelves and higher prices for what's left. Now, let's talk about water. California's Achilles heel. The state has been grappling with historic droughts, and the situation is only getting worse. In 2023, California saw its driest year in recorded history, with water reservoirs at just 42% of their average capacity. This forced drastic cuts in water usage for farming, especially for water-intensive crops like almonds and citrus fruits. According to the Public Policy Institute of California, these water restrictions are expected to reduce the state's crop output by an additional 7% by 2025. That means fewer crops, fewer shipments, and a direct hit to food availability across the U.S. The situation is compounded by California's stringent environmental regulations, including some of the toughest emissions standards in the world. While these policies are aimed at reducing greenhouse gases, they are driving up the cost of transporting goods to and from California. The state's new truck emissions regulations alone are estimated to add $1 billion annually to transportation costs. 
Those costs get passed down the supply chain, from the farms to the warehouses to retailers like Walmart and ultimately to you, the consumer. With transportation costs already up 12% compared to last year, it's no wonder that food prices are rising faster than wages can keep up. California's ports, which are responsible for handling a large portion of the nation's food imports and exports, are also being squeezed. Stricter environmental policies at ports, combined with labor shortages among dock workers and truck drivers, are leading to significant delays in the distribution of food products. As perishable goods sit at ports waiting to be shipped across the country, spoilage rates are climbing. The USDA reported a 15% increase in food waste due to these delays in 2023 alone. This inefficiency not only results in higher prices for consumers, but also reduces the quality and availability of fresh produce on store shelves. Looking ahead, the introduction of new taxes and fees, like the proposed carbon tax aimed at reducing greenhouse gas emissions, could push costs even higher. Farmers are already warning that these additional financial burdens may lead to a further reduction in production capacity. By 2030, food experts predict that California's agricultural output could decrease by as much as 20 percent, a devastating blow to the national food supply. As these costs and shortages ripple through the economy, the impact will be felt everywhere, from your local grocery store to the restaurants you frequent. The reality is clear. California's policies are creating a perfect storm that threatens to destabilize the national food supply. The effects are already being felt, and it's only going to get worse. Prices will continue to rise, availability will shrink, and the quality of what's left will diminish. Prepare for a future where the fruits and vegetables you take for granted become harder to find and significantly more expensive. Now that you know what's really happening, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Let us know in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe, and God bless America.